What is up, everybody? Alex from WMD here, back at you again. And this time, we're going to take a look at Subway. Subway is a new module. It is an eight-input, one-output scanner module. And um, technically, you want to get nerdy about it, eight-way crossfading switch. That's another good way to talk about it, good way to, to hear about what it is. Basically, how it works is you have eight inputs, you have one output, and now you can morph smoothly, so crossfade from one input to the next. So this isn't a eight channel mixer. This is basically like seven crossfaders. So you've got um, that you scan from one input to the next. So in this video, I'm just going to go through, show a couple different examples of how it works. And then, yeah, we'll have another video that will just be straight up sounds, cool patches with it. So be sure to check out, uh, you know, be on the lookout for that one when it comes out. But for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to we're just going to patch around. We're just going to hang out with it, see how it goes. So I'm just going to take the output. I'm going to run it into the mixer here. And we'll listen to it. So there's our sine wave. And if we move over here, you hear nothing, right? Because there's nothing there. So now we'll put a pulse wave from the legion number two over here, and we'll morph between the two. That sounds pretty cool. So now what we'll do is we'll take the saw wave from that second legion. We'll listen to what that sounds like. We didn't get there because three was muted. So now we'll get to three. Kind of cool. And then maybe we'll add some modulation to this one so we really know what it sounds like when we get to it. That is the wrong input. <laughs> There we go. Got some pulse width modulation happening on both this second waveform and this last waveform. So now we will go through on number four. And we'll take the saw wave out of this legion. And then number five, we'll use the swarm wave out of this legion. Again, we got to turn them on to get there. And there you go, smooth morph. So we will go through this data real quick, just so you can see the waveforms a little bit better, so you can actually see them, right? So I do need to try and um, sync this, so we'll see how this looks when I do that. There we go, that looks a little bit better. So you can see there is our sine wave, and as we morph through, we move into that pulse wave, then we move into the Windows wave here. And then we slowly move into that straight up saw wave on this guy into that swarm. Let's turn the swarm up a little bit. Cool. Right? So now we can do a couple things with this, right? We can morph through, we can scan through, we could use it with CV, so we could take this LFO and go through there, and then the scan knob becomes our attenuator. So that's kind of cool, kind of fun. We'll use this waveform instead. That way we've got this one independently doing our PWM. So again, cool thing about this is we can mute some waves in the middle. And now we're literally just going between input one and input five. Input four, one, and five. One, four, and five. Go back to all of them. All right, cool. So now instead of using an LFO, we will use a sine wave from the first oscillator. And now we're mixing all those together at audio rate. So we can again attenuate how much we're morphing. But you can really see over here, the waveform, I was probably covering it up for a little while. So we'll just get back over there and do it so you can see it. There you go. And it's kind of fun, like we're morphing through these things. Like I said, you don't like that pulse, maybe we just get that pulse out of there. So this is similar to mixing all of the waves together. It's also similar to another patch we've done with the select module 
as well as the OSD module where we're hard switching at audio rate between um, waveforms. But because this is smooth, we're getting that interpolation in between. So when we do it at audio rate, you get this nice smooth sound. And then we can change like, you know, octaves, things like that. We could tune this one up, up to like a fifth. And now we have this really unique oscillator sound, right? That morphs with this knob we, that, you know, we can really change what it sounds like. This is almost like a wavetable oscillator, right? Pretty cool. So something that would be fun, like a cool patch for this, is take this sine wave and instead of going straight in, we'll run it through an envelope or a VCA with an envelope on it. And then I'll just use a looping function for this envelope. Turn scan up. And now this is kind of like a wavetable oscillator, right? We're basically allowing more harmonics to come through and less harmonics to come through when we get down to the bottom of there. So real cool when it's real slow, right? Let's go into the bass registers. Let's turn that pulse off. That pulse really gets in there, doesn't it? that envelope level make sure it's all the way up so it goes all the way up there there we go that's pretty cool so that's a fun fun thing to do we can go even more basic than this we can do a very similar thing so again we'll make sure we can watch it on data here and this would be more similar to how a lot of wavetable oscillators work right so we're going to take a sine wave we're going to run that in first and should be able to hear it when we go to it and then literally just on number two, we're going to go to this swarm. And now we can, again, smoothly morph between. So we'll just watch it on the scope. So this could be fun to do with, again, an envelope. And instead of a VCA, we can just literally use the envelope from Javelin. And now we're morphing between those two sounds, which is really nice. We're going from one that has no harmonics to one that has a lot and a lot of weird shit going on. So again, we're just going to load this guy up. I'm going to take, we're going to make some FM stuff happen because why not? And then we'll take some more waveforms out of this one. morphing between a ton of waveforms again lots of weird stuff happening we've got this fm thing happening which is cool this might be a great way to just rip some samples right make some cool stuff out of that so now instead of using audio rate or instead of excuse me instead of using this javelin like an lfo we're just going to run voltaire into this and now we're stepping through this in a way that's rhythmic with the Volterra. Again, we can basically attenuate how much that we're going to get. And then say we hate this sound, let's just, you know, that's kind of gross, right? Well, let's just take it out. Oh, that's better. Just experiment with which ones are on, you know? So super fun with audio, right? So 
Subway is indeed uh, DC coupled, so you can use it with um, CV. And that's a pretty fun thing to do as well. So for, for this demonstration, what we're going to do is we're literally just going to take the saw wave out and we'll run that into our mixer so we just hear it. Let's turn it down an octave. That sounds good. We're going to run this one through the carbon filter. And we're just going to do some fun filter modulation stuff. So first things I'm going to take the looping envelope. Let's turn some of these off. Let's go turn some of them on and some of them off. Let's just so we know where we're at. And uh, this env looping envelope, we're going to take the out of subway. We're going to run that into the FM input on carbon. Now we have this looping envelope. Cool. So instead of looping, I'm just going to run some gates. So it's a little bit more um, purpose, on purpose, right? A little bit more intentive. That's what we want for that. And then I'm going to run this LFO out of Modbox. We'll run that in number two. What's nice about this is check this out. We can kind of mix those two. So more towards the envelope side. All the way on the LFO side. Now we mix those. That's cool. So now we'll take another LFO out. We'll take the faster LFO out, the skew here. We'll make it a little bit faster. Let's go listen to it. Make it like a square sine wave or a sorry saw wave. Cool. And we'll take this other envelope, we'll run that into there. We will put that one on looping mode. That's just basically another LFO. And for the last one, we're going to run a sine wave from our modulator oscillator over here. So that's giving us this sound. And that's basically it just modulating the filter at audio, right? And now we have all of this stuff happening. So again, we'll use Volterra to move the scan around. And now we've got this really cool modulation thing. <laughs> Pretty into it. So let's let's just mess with this. Let's hear what this sounds like to do this. So instead of going into the FM input from the output of the subway, we're going to go into the linear FM input. Maybe we won't turn it up so much, right? And let's listen to the sine wave instead. Now instead of Volterra, we'll use an LFO to switch between them all. That's a little weird, but it is super fun. So yeah, that's Subway. Subway is awesome, super fun module to experiment with, great for sample building, great for creating really cool waveforms out of your oscillators that you already have just by mixing a bunch of waveforms together, scanning through those at audio rate and seeing what happens. So I hope this video can be inspiring and um, just spur a little bit of creativity of how you, as you would use Subway. Uh, again, we're going to have another video coming out very soon of just patches, just audio. So uh, keep on the lookout for that. As always, please like and subscribe and we will see you all next time. Peace.